I have such a cute Dollar Tree haul today and actually a lot of crafts in this one because I'm going to be doing some DIYs. One of them actually should have happened before this video, so I will link it down below. You guys can go see how it turned out. Um, yeah, so I'm filming this before, so even I don't know honestly how it turned out, but I do know that I'm posting it whether it's a fail or a success of a DIY. So actually, we'll just jump right into it and I'll show you guys what craft I'm talking about. So um, I found these craft pumpkins they're labeled as decor at dollar tree so they're super cute the one thing i'll say about them is i kind of wish that like we had different facial expressions from the pumpkins but they're all the same but that's fine too what i do like most about them is the size of them they're just really good even though they're obviously like a flat they're not like a you know fully rounded pumpkin um i am gonna attempt like a pottery barn somewhat dupe DIY I guess I really don't even know what I'm gonna title this DIY video just yet um but they sell these terracotta ceramic pumpkins and so I thought let me see if I can do that with Dollar Tree supplies so I got the pumpkins for that I just started with three pumpkins because I wasn't quite sure like if it would you know work or not I picked up some paint brushes so these are the chunky brushes Super cute, love that we get three to a pack and like the difference of colors. And then I picked up this brush set. Yeah, I just wasn't quite sure like which one I'm going to like um, the most. And then I picked up three bottles of paint and specifically in these three colors that when I mix the right like combination together, I should get like the perfect uh, or the color that at least I'm trying to achieve. So this is just like a brown an orange and a white and then I'm also going to be using a, another item which can also be found at Dollar Tree but I already have it on hand so video will be linked down below if everything goes according to plan so this should already be up and hopefully it'll be a success so we'll see all right next up I have some candles finally so when I moved into this house I had to get rid of all of my like most of my candle collection I think I brought um like my top favorites uh but yeah so I'm I'm in this place where I'm trying to restock and I love Dollar Tree candles so if you're new to my channel I get like a little basket from Dollar Tree and I put them underneath like my bathrooms throughout the house and then these little candles are perfect for just like a small bathroom and yeah so I'm just I love the Dollar Tree candles so I found this little set which reminds me of the color palette Dollar Tree did for their summer or their back to school stuff so I was like what do they mean to like make these match the green one is I can't even tell like the lighting is kind of off in here but Botanica Garden I guess that's the name I thought it was the name of the candle but it's Botanica Garden and there's a lot of wax in here like that's something we rarely see at Dollar Tree um, so that's really nice. This one's floral dress. So super cute. Love the lavender color on that one. And then this baby pink one is pink bouquet. So hopefully you guys can kind of see the label there. That one's like falling out. But anyways, they all smell amazing. So love them. Pastel. It's giving me more spring to be honest because that's like when I pastels spring is my mind but there it is all right then i picked up pretty like stuff that you always see me pick up i love these labels they're so great for junk journaling so if you've like just started diving into that world get you some of these labels and then i always look for new uh, wall borders now at dollar tree it's like one of my most recent things that like i've kind of zoned in at when i go to dollar tree i mean i've passed up on this stuff for years and years but now I'm just like, now that I've gotten, gotten into like journaling and scrapbooking, these just are really fun to use for that. You know, it's just really nice to like find cheap material. So I love this space themed with the dark sky and just the stars, super cute. And what I also liked about this is that it kind of has like a little pop-up feature so if you were to like actually use this in your classroom as a teacher like as a wall border because that's what it's intended for little pieces kind of like pop out 
so it will kind of give a 3d effect i don't know if you can see like the outline the next one is this little circus theme and it also has the same concept where you can just kind of like pull at their little heads or the balloons and it will kind of like give it a 3d effect this is the first time i've seen dollar tree do anything on this level in terms of wall borders so i think this is a very exciting find especially if you're a teacher and you love picking up these things for your classroom and here's yet another one this one has a safari theme so when you look close you can just see like right here that little like cut yeah super cute love this one and then there's a lot in here by the way there's 10 pieces of border in here and then this one has a little uh, lake camping theme and then you can see here on this picture part they're showing you like how you can just kind of pop out certain features like this little sign has the cut to it my camera is like Sometimes when things get too close to it, it just does not enjoy that. So this one's super adorable. All right, so that was a new find. And then I found these new stickers, which I thought were really cool. They just give me a 70s vibe. Like when I just see anything kind of neon and tie-dye-ish, that's what I think. So they're just a bunch of flowers. And then I picked up more of these sunflower foil die cuts. You get 10 pieces in here, also great for journaling with. And then I found some brand new calendar posters. So you would just need like dry erase markers, that whole thing. And then you could just, you know, reuse it over and over. So, because it's completely blank, like you can just change the month, change your days accordingly. So that's really cool. So if you're gonna, gonna do like some type of command center, that would be great for that. Here is this one, which is my favorite. I love this and then even if you wanted to you could like break these down cut them down and like install them into a journal if you wanted to do it that way and then just I don't know, just an idea there and then this one is just for some reason I'm getting 80s not that I look at everything and like think what decade is this item but just there are certain things where I look at it and like that's what translates in my brain so super pretty I love that Dollar Tree gives us a variety. It's like one of my favorite things about Dollar Tree. Okay, so um, like I mentioned, I picked up quite a few things in today's haul for crafting. I have plans, I think. I haven't honestly fully decided on this yet, but you guys seem to really love when I do lives, like YouTube lives. So I'm thinking... I might do this next DIY live, which if I do decide to do this, it could be coming before this video as well, because I'm trying to like think of my days, but it could be Friday's video. So I picked up these lunch bags. You guys know I love them. So these are a 40 pack and they also sell them in a 30 pack. So just kind of like be on the lookout for that i mean listen if you need 30 like that's great you know you don't always have to reach for like the most but in case you need more definitely go through and see if you can find a 40 pack so i'm gonna be doing uh halloween advent calendar bags and i just thought maybe it would be a fun format to do it live so um so there's that or yeah I think so. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then I picked up these envelopes. I love these envelopes. They are great for junk journaling because you can like turn them into like pockets, multiple pockets. Um, you can definitely like, you know, sh um, age them with ink and do all kinds of like fun things. But I wanted to show you guys specifically. So here's one with like little clasps. Those are my favorite and you get eight, but beware for these two because they also do them in a six count. So you gotta watch out because Dollar Tree does things like that. But then I found it in this format with the sticker peel and I was just like, what? I feel like this could be new unless I just haven't been paying attention, but peel and seal. But in this one, you get eight or six. I've not seen them in eight yet, but you never know. So I got those. And then I had to pick up my favorite double-sided tape. This is 
the best tape hands down at Dollar Tree. Like I, this tape honestly blows me away. Just the, how sturdy this is. I first started using this for like decorating the inside of a shipping box for my daughter when I would create care packages for her, which I've done on YouTube before, by the way. Um, now I've been using them for like advent calendars or just like little bags for my junk journal and stuff. Um, you'll see what I'm talking about if you watch the live, which even like, let's say you miss the live, it'll still be up as a saved video. Anyways, I'm telling you guys, this tape is, it's, it's it. It's, it's the best tape. It's my favorite tape. I guess I got doubles of the paint, probably just because, or actually I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why. So this is, this next item is funny. I used to like get into this habit where every time I would go to Dollar Tree, I would grab myself like a little snack, a little candy. I'm trying to like tone down my sugar intake. So that's kind of why you haven't seen it lately or candy lately. But the other night I had a dream about Mambas and I was just, I grabbed it. I thought it was hilarious. By the way, this is my favorite candy like as a child. Like I would go walk to the 7-Eleven and my brother and I would buy like Mamba, Skittle, Starburst. Yeah. All right, then I picked up more of the micro little mini composition notebook set. If you watched my Dollar General haul or if you missed it, I'll link it down below. Go watch that and see the micro ones that I found at Dollar General. So here's the Dollar Tree versions. You get three colors, the yellow, the purple, and then on the inside is blue. I'm not gonna open it, I've done it multiple times recently so i know most of you guys already know what color it looks like but it is a three pack and then part of what you will see live i picked up these chalkboard tag little clothes pens and yeah i got a bunch of these and you're gonna see in that live how how i'll be using these so there's that yeah i got I got a bunch of them. So it's always fun for me to like, you know, just pop in a Dollar Tree and just kind of see what's going on. But then it's also really fun for me to like walk in with a list too, especially when, excuse me, the list kind of like includes DIYs. So, and I do, I do tend to do more DIYs at the end of the year. I do them more for like fall, Halloween, Christmas. So there's that. Anyways, I picked up more of these uh, zipper seal bags. By the way, as you can see, the label is the party section. So that's where I found these, but Crafter Square sells them as well, but they're in a smaller version. I think they have like two different, maybe three different sizes, but you don't get 40. So I just pick these up for multiple quantities because whenever I package your orders in my Etsy shop for my junk journal mystery kits, I use these to like put all your little charms and your ribbons so that they're not like flying loose in your bag. So there's that. All right, then I've got some, listen, I was just talking about these when I showed you the version of these that came out for the Day of the Dead. If you missed that haul, I'll also link that down below. You can go see what those look like because I was obsessed with the pumpkin ones. And I, in that video, I mentioned that they did these for fall and Halloween. So here's the Halloween version. It is a ghost and a black cat. I already have multiples of these, but you know what? They're just one of those items where I can honestly like every year collect like another set and another set and, you know, just kind of put them throughout the house. Like this does not make me upset to get another set. You know what I mean? So here's the little cat, super cute on this little like rocking feature. It is metal. And then the ghost, I mean, all of these details for $1.25, honestly, like I don't understand. Then I found these and I feel like these are new. I don't remember them from last year, but they put out these little pumpkins, which they did this for fall. I just showed it in a previous video. It says, uh, grateful, thankful, blessed, or something like that. But here's the Halloween version. So we've got see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. What? It's so cute. You got to get these for a tear tray. 
they're just the the perfect size for them and then this one says boo although it's slightly questionable kind of like looks like an e a little bit but mm. But anyways, so it's still very pretty and I'm very excited. Like even if you want to turn it this way, hello, like look how beautiful that is. Here it is with this one, but you can kind of like see the hands on the side, but absolutely darling. In this last bag, I picked up these, which are so cute. Now Dollar Tree has been doing these for the last couple years, but I do think these are a brand new print. So they're just kind of like a decorated mason jar. So I'm just gonna show them to you one by one. I think this white and purple one's my favorite with the bats. I don't know, I'll let you know as I go back through them. Home is where the haunt is. I love that. This one's also very chic and this top part has a little galvanized metal, the twine, the glitter. So well done, you know I'm gonna say it. Should I say it? Or do you know where I would recommend putting this? You already know. But the size is again, perfect. Stop by for a spell. Ooh, I really like that one too. Uh, which way to the candy? Ooh. Honestly, they're, they're just all, they're, they're too good. They're too good. But if I just like, if you wanted me to just pick one, I'm going to change my mind and I'm going to say the orange one. Yeah, so the orange one's my favorite. All right, so there's that and we're going to end today's haul with my favorites. I always have to save them for last because they're my favorite things at Dollar Tree and it hasn't stopped, it won't stop and they are the Dollar Tree cards and especially their fall, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Love them. And these are just the regular cards. You also need to know that Dollar Tree will put out handmade cards and they're they're packaged individually in like, you know, a plastic wrap. So be on the lookout for those, but they only do those seasonally um, or for like events like graduation, that kind of thing. Um, but these are just like the regular cards from Hallmark. So Halloween magic is in the air. Another card that next time you stop in at Dollar Tree, pop in and just look at it because it's just, it's so pretty in person because there is a black glitter to it and it's just, it's gorgeous. I use these for journaling and you're gonna see this in the live, by the way. So, and then here I got another one of these. I've bought this one several times, but like her skirt, her cat's on a leash. Is it a cat? Yeah, it's a black cat. So I got that one again, and then I picked up this one again as well. It's a favorite of mine. I always love, I don't know why, but anything with a dark sky, they do this for, for Christmas too. I love it, honestly love it. And then I mentioned the last time you guys saw this card that I just wanted to get another one, so I did. Again, another card, stop in at Dollar Tree and just pick it up and look at it because it has just a really nice like embossing on it. And then here is this one, which I think I have not hauled for you guys yet. It's pretty simple, but I like it. And I also look for ones that don't say like, happy Halloween to my granddaughter, grandson, you know, neighbor, like, I try to look for ones that just are so generic that they'll be great to craft with. So there's that. And then the last three are Thanksgiving. Um, so you can tell by the color of the envelope. I've picked this one up before. I really like it. And with this one, you can deconstruct it and actually cut out these little squares and then like place them in your journal, craft journal, junk journal, whatever. And then this one, I believe I picked up last year, but this is the first time I'm hauling it this year. I just love the whole scene. It's giving me a Vermont for sure. So I just really like it. And then this is a dupe. I recently just got this one, but I decided it was so cute. I had to go back and secure a second one. Something about the polka dots and the pies are doing me in and I, I can't describe it. I just love cutesy stuff like this. I just, I do. I can't, 
I can't stop myself. Also, it's the end of the video now, but I'm gonna stand up and show you guys my uh, vest, cause yeah, how freaking, it's like little patches. I love this vest. Um, this one I got from, um, I think it was Etsy. So it's like one of a kind kind of thing. So I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to link it, but I'll, I'll see. I'll try and see if there's another one. Um, but anyways, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Drop your shopping list down below. Let me know what from today's video you want to be on the lookout for. And like I mentioned, I think the DIY and the live could possibly be up before this video. If not, they're coming, so stay tuned, and I'll see you guys there. Bye.